Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Today we have a really fun story. It's called Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. Hmm. This book is called Interrupting Chicken. Why, Pop? Right, Papa? Yes, now, but don't interrupt the story. <laughs> Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. It was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that, says, asked Papa. Ooh, a bedtime story. All right, says Papa. I'll read you one of my favorites. And of course, you're not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, oh no, Papa. I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, Oh, what lovely children. Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her, follow her when... <laughs> Out jumped the little red chicken, and she said, don't go in, she's a witch. And so Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. <laughs> chicken? Yes, Papa? Uh, you interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf, a wolf who wished her good morning. And she was about to answer him when... <laughs> Out jumped the little red chicken, and she said, don't talk to strangers. So Little Red Riding didn't. The end. <laughs> chicken? Yes, Papa? You did it again. You interrupted two stories, and you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry, but he really was a mean old wolf. Yes. Uh, now, now get back into bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story, and I'll be good. <clears throat> Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm that the sky was falling when... <laughs> Out jumped the little red chicken, and she said, don't panic, it was just an acorn. So Chicken Little didn't. The end. Chicken? Yes, Papa? You did it again. Oh, Papa, I, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. But read one more story, and I promise I'll fall asleep. But Chicken, said Papa, we are out of stories. Oh no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. <sighs> then said Papa, yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me tell a story? Okay, said the red chicken. Okay, Papa, uh, here we go. Um, um, Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all oh. <laughs> 
Papa? Good night, Papa. The end. I hope you enjoyed interrupting Chicken. I think he should let the Papa read the bed stories next, the bedtime stories next time. Have a great weekend. I'll see you all next week. Bye, my friends.